Welcome to Latvia, the land of super fast Wi-Fi, stunning beaches and tall women. <laughs> yes, let me show you around. You already know Western and South Europe, but you probably don't know the Baltic region. This is where Latvia is. Its capital, Riga, is the biggest city in the region. And this is where our journey begins. The old town is always the best place to start with in any city. There you'll find this restaurant. Write the name down. With its menu and atmosphere, you will be teleported into medieval ages. Another amazing restaurant is the key to Riga. Whichever place you choose, here is some food to try. Sorrel soup, rupchmeis, which is a type of rye bread. Peragini, a sort of bun filled with bacon and onion. Sklandrausis, like sweet carrot and potato tart. And Latvia's national liquor, Riga Black Balsam. <laughs> I love it, it's really nice. Definitely have a walk in one of Europe's biggest markets. The pavilions are in a giant Zeppelin hangars left behind the German army after World War I. Riga has a church from where you can have an amazing view of the city. By the way, this church was once the tallest tower in the world. That, of course, was a long time ago, but still quite an impressive achievement. Of course you can go for food tours, walking tours, beer tours, sports activities, but tonight I'm going to an opera. You have probably heard of Richard Wagner. Well, <laughs> he worked in Riga between 1837 and 1839. Now when you go to see any of his operas in the National Opera House, a figure of him illuminates above the stage. Well tonight I'm not gonna see that illuminating because I'm not going to Wagner, I'm going to Don Giovanni. Ah, what an experience. You're feeling bored in Riga? <laughs> Don't worry, Latvia got you covered. Rent a car and follow me. In less than an hour, you find a unique zipline. Nowhere in the world do you see anything like this. It looks like a regular zipline, but on the way back, you're being pushed by a cable car. If 60 km per hour is nothing to you, then go for 80. Nearby the zipline, you have an actual bobsled track. Have in mind, it's open only on the weekends. Finish the day with a relaxing sauna ritual in paradise. Here you'll be greeted by a sauna master. My name is Leonita. The sauna ritual is way more than just a regular visit to the sauna, but you can only understand that by experiencing it yourself. The next day, visit Sessis. Very historic. The city has the best preserved castle in Latvia with a garden maintained as it was medieval times. You can also play medieval games. Definitely get a tour guide, but don't go on a Monday because everything's closed. Spare two to four hours in the castle, then get a lunch and walk around the city. The local church can give you a view from the top, if it's opened. <laughs> around 4 p.m. you can start making your way back to Riga. Grab a dinner at Nirvana. The people there were so kind, so friendly, and the food was amazing too. Finish your evening with a beer tour. Visit a few venues, try different beers, and learn why Latvia has more than 3,000 types of beer. The next day, it's time to fly back. But not before you have a final walk around the city. Here's a fun fact, Riga has a beach. It's somewhere opposite Old Town on the other side of the river. I didn't have time to visit it, but it looks amazing. I bet you didn't know that Latvia has 500 kilometers of stunning white sand beaches. The chair on the top is probably Jurmala. So when you come, make sure you pack a pair of shorts, just in case. And this is my final meal here in Latvia. Time to go home, but you, come visit. And stay curious.